Okay, looks like I need a little more information about the uh, that shift not working. This one is working. I need to go ahead and take the top case off of the machine. Just latches and take the platen out. Take this off. Go ahead and put the roller back in it so it's working. Okay, what we're going to look at is down here on the side, right down in here. And what we got here is the shift clutch right here. So when we shift it, it moves this arm, moves this dealy around. But really what I want, I need focused on is this arm right here that goes up and down. And it should go. It should go, when you press the button, it goes up and down real fast. It should go back into the same position. So when I hit shift once, it's going to go up and back down to there. If I let go of shift, it'll do the same thing, up and back down. So I need to make sure that's going up and down every time. This piece is what I think is wrong. When this goes up, it locks, it locks the machine. So I press the button, nothing happens. <coughs> but when you, <coughs> excuse me, when you uh, let this piece back down, it fires. So what I think's happening is the shift is going up, and either this piece is staying up, or this arm is staying up like that. And then when you hit return. It all refires. See, the return lifts this arm too. They're interconnected. So that's the first thing I want to look at. But while I got the video running, I'm going to show you what it looks like underneath here. So this, there's a lever over here, of course, that will allow you to raise the machine up and out right there. And you can tilt the machine on its back. It's got sliders. You lift up pull and prop it up on his back. Now we got the guts to the IBM selector and we're going to look at that arm again that's moving up and down that moves the silver piece right here and that will lock the machine up. So when I hold this up, press the button, it, it's locked until I let it go. This piece does the carriage return and it will lock it up too. It locks it until it's released. Something's happening with this piece right here. So that's what I wanted to determine. That, when I hit shift, this should wiggle and go right back to the same position. So, if it's not, I mean, there could be a spring off right here. There's a spring right here. See if that spring's on there. Or this piece here could be slid one side or the other and this is a piece that adjusts it to right here this piece so maybe um, look at those areas and let me know what you found or if you can videotape those if it's doing something um, goofy like that so when this is on its back you can see this piece move real quick hit shift up and back down shift again up and back down this piece is up it won't it won't fire off the machine so if this piece is up it won't it won't fire but it I can't really reproduce what's happening with the carriage return locking and then the carriage return releasing it we'll have to figure that out so that's my uh, initial um, video analysis get back with you